clarity is kind of a derivative of purpose. I like to say that if you get your purpose and you understand why you do what you do, what gets you up in the morning, what lights your fire, stuffs your tweaky, float your, floats your boat, right? If you get that, you now have a gateway to having clarity mm. because you're making decisions based off of a core belief, core desire, core of who you are. This is Better Wealth with Caleb Williams. Welcome to Better Wealth Unlocked, where we talk about the keys to helping you live a more intentional life. I'm here with my good friend and brother, Jeremy Rudhouse. And man, today we're going to talk about clarity. It's a principle that we live by, but it's also when people come in and, and become a member of Better Wealth and they, and they work with someone like you. We have our first meeting after we get all the data, after we build their model. We have a clarity meeting because if you do not know where you want to go, you don't know where you're at if you don't have an understanding of your data and if we don't understand what's important to you yeah. it literally does not matter and and i'm excited about this you can see i'm fired up already because <laughs> i've seen so many people fail or struggle because of lack of clarity i'm by the way not married i don't want to be that guy that gives marriage advice but like the problems that i see in business the problem that i see in parenting the problem that i see in marriages and i want to be the first one to take this is like People don't have clarity and they're not communicating in that way. And so, sorry for, for being a firecracker <laughs> right off the bat, but I just, this is, this is so important and I'm so glad that we're talking about it. Yeah, it, it is huge. And uh, I love being around this guy because <laughs> there's so much energy and just genuine. I tell people on the phone a lot, Caleb is exactly the way that he comes across in video, 100%. You, you, he just raises the bar when you're around. So clarity, um, what, what specifically would you like our audience to, to know from my perspective, Caleb, with regards to this very, very important piece? So in the, in the segment of, of Better Wealth Unlocked, we want to, from a coaching perspective, give people a paradigm of like, okay, Jeremy, okay, Caleb, I want to get this whole wealth thing figured out, yeah. and I want, I want to be intentional with the way I live my life. Sure. And there's a reason in the process of wealth, this is our first meeting and we don't move forward if we don't have clarity on where you're at. And so as a coach, as someone that's working with people every single day, yeah. how are you using this principle in your life, but then in the way that you serve other people? Okay, amazing. So I, I'm going to try to tell this through a story um, with, with anonymity in place. <laughs> One of my favorite experiences um, this year has been talking to a couple who came to us and they are at a point in their life uh, where where they're retiring, right? They, they have gotten to that point. Um, and you hear us say this all the time or you'll hear me say this all the time, retirement is kind of a dirty word around here because you should be bringing value until the day that you kick it, right? And then even after that. Right, and so let me so, just be clear because you, you – use the R word on the show. Um, <laughs> retirement, the definition of retirement is being taken out of service, okay? Sure. So there is a time, and if you if you understand this whole money thing, we should be able to have a season in our life where we don't have to work. That's right. But never stop at adding value and never check out in life because we see that kill you, literally yeah. take you out of service of life. So there and, we go. <laughs> and I know I need people that have been there, done that, gone through all of those things. The, the value of that and that experience is huge to yep. me. So- but we're going to use the R word for, okay. for this because these people have moved into this season of their life. And um, apparently one of the biggest fears, and I'm not there, but apparently one of the biggest fears is running out of money. Mm. And through the course of our conversation, we use the model to gain clarity of where they are right now. And when we looked at the red line and the green line, and again, if you go to betterwealth.com and check out the Better Wealth Assessment, we're going to give you a snapshot of what the model looks like with regards to the, the two lines on a graph that measure the ratio between consumption and savings. But when I, I hit the checkbox and their red line fell on their green line and they said, Jeremy, where'd it go? They covered up their green line all the, all the way. And wow. then, we, then we put some stresses into the model and the red line was still on the green line. And I said, okay guys, what do you wanna do? And they're like, what do you mean? And I said, guys, I can continue to stress your model. You have way more money than you can probably spend. And they're like, that's not possible. That's not possible. That's not possible. 
And I'm like, it's po- it's not only possible, now we get to now we get to ask a really great question that maybe you've never been asked. What do you really want to do? What is your purpose? What is your purpose? And and mm. th- this young lady, she looks at me and she she says, "Jeremy, I've never been asked that question in any meeting about finance, any anything at all. Nobody's ever asked me what I really really wanted." And what she shared with me was beautiful and I won't share it here, but it, it was a really it was a very grandmotherly thing to say, how shall we say? Yeah. And uh, it was extremely, it was extremely, I was so happy that I was uh, um, allowed to be a part of that moment. Mm. Here's the thing. If they had had a firm situational awareness in their 30s mm-hmm. of where they were financially and had a, had a model, right? And somebody had asked them a question, where do you want to be, guys? And not only where do you want to be, what do you want to do in your life? What do you, what is your purpose? You want me to unpack purpose? Yeah, I mean, I, so and so. Uh, let me just when I when I talk to people that when I was working alongside them, one of the questions I would ask is, if money wasn't an issue at all, what right. would you be doing? And you can ask that another way. If you had ten million dollars in your in your account, what would you what would you do tomorrow? And it just gets people to really reflect on what's important. And one of the one of the books that have has really impacted me is uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the prince and habit number two is thinking with the end in mind. Yep. And it's really really important, but it's also how you want to live your life today. And so let's unpack the purpose yep. part yep. of clarity. So one of the things that that it's our mission really is to allow people facilitate help in some way to you live a more intentional life, show up better in all aspects of your life. So clarity is kind of a derivative of purpose. I like to say that if you get your purpose and you understand why you do what you do, what gets you up in the morning, what lights your fire, stuffs your tweaky, floats your boat, right? If you get that, you now have a gateway to having clarity Mm. because you're making decisions based off of a core belief, core desire, core of who you are. Mm. So think about this. If if I don't understand my purpose and I just go to get clear on something, I'm missing a key. And since this whole you know episode segments, the, the reason we do these podcasts is to to give you these keys. Don't go don't go try to get clarity on something until you start to get clarity on your purpose, right? So oh boy, we said the p word, <laughs> the purpose, your why. Yeah, there, there's. Yep. You know, as a company, early in this year, we rode, read, rode, read the book, Start With Why mm. by Simon Sinek. Guys, read that book. Mm. You, once you start to get, this is why I do what I do. This is my purpose, my mission. It just unlocks so many things. And clarity is derived from that purpose. So, and, and money really hinders Again, we see yeah. this time and time again. Money can really be a yoke as opposed to a tool that is used to live an intentional life, to live your purpose, to do the things that you're called to feel led to, and so on. You know, some folks may say, you know, you're putting too much emphasis on that. And I say that's absolute ridiculousness. Yeah. Th- this is what this is all about. Yeah. It's it's interesting. The, the people that are a part of what we're doing, Jeremy— yeah. Like know that yes, our name is better wealth, and and when you think of wealth, you really think about money. But how do you describe your your wealth? Because I think if we understand what if we define and get clarity on the word wealth, yeah, that that will share with you why we are get so fired up. Because I'm telling you, like I have been mentored and know people that have a ton of money, yeah, but they're not they're not like fulfilled. And they're not really showing up powerfully, and they're not springing out of bed. And I'm not saying if they, if you're like, I'm not saying that's all the things that you need. But it's like, man, like money for me early on, I had this realization that it was not all about yeah. money in a bank account. It was it was a lot more than that. And so that's that's why you see us get so fired up about this is because we can help you. And by all means, we do help people that don't necessarily have it all figured out. By the way, no one does. But, but if we just had you ask, answer one question and just start thinking about something, it might transform your life two years from now, three years from now. But that conversation was putting seeds into something that, you know, now, you, now it's on, on your brain. Yeah. So 
to define wealth in terms of better wealth, the wealth is the sum total of your time, your talents, your treasure, and your health. And all of our principles don't just speak to money, guys. And 10 years from now, 12 years from now, Caleb, better wealth is going to be so much yeah. more impactful. <laughs> Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> we don't want to just talk to money. Yeah. Money's an aspect. It's a tool. Think about it this way. If clarity is a principle at Better Wealth, clarity is a principle anyway. If you understand your purpose and, it, it, and, it, and it's a gateway or it's a door to unlocking clarity in your life, then it's also a gateway to unlocking not just money, but the use of your time, the use of your talents, the use of your treasure, and the use of your health. Yeah. I, th this, is, this is a whole life shift. Yep. And if you could, and you can, put money in its rightful place, and get on with living a more intentional life now and in the future, how much more could you put into health? How much more could you put in your family? How much more could you do these things? And we ask these questions sort of rhetorically, but guys, you need to sit in your car, on the weight bench, wherever it is that you are. If you're in your running shoes, trotting down the road, don't stop, but really, really consider, <laughs> really, really consider if at the core of all of this is purpose or your why, and that unlocks your ability to get clear on how we do what it is that we do, and it affects these four aspects of life, how, how important is that? Yep. There's no other question that you need to answer. So if we, right, as, as in the financial sector, can help people get this right with regards to money, what does that unlock for the rest of their life? Right. I, I end all the podcast interviews or most of the interviews that I've had with asking what I call the legacy question. And it's it gets people to think about their why. And I'll ask you this so you, you can think about this. If, if this was your last day on earth and you were with the people that you love the most, what would you want to make sure that you passed on to them in words and emotion? Um, and I think that will also be pretty revealing. Yeah. And it goes back to when I read uh, Stephen Covey's book for the first time and realized, okay, what what do I want my life to be all about? And and then really doing my best to design it in such a way yeah. that we can live that out. Clarity, guys. It's a principle, and it, it's super important. I, this is one of my favorite things that I get to do in talking with folks is hear – what impact you want to have and yeah. why you want to have that impact. So I'm asking you this from the bottom of my heart. If you don't have clarity, please take the time to really figure that out. We are here. We truly are as a company to here to serve you. And we want this message to continue to get out. And so if you're listening to this on a podcast, every time you subscribe or leave a review or share this with a friend and family, like that helps share this message. If you're on YouTube, we're trying to share and get our channel and our message out. And so uh, the more people that can be helping us get this message out, the better. Uh, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving us a platform, giving, um, giving us an excuse to come in the studio and shoot this. And Jeremy, as always, thank you for how you serve, for how you show up and for, um, the encouragement you are for me to help me understand that like this whole clarity is a, a really important thing to live out. Absolutely. I, I do have a save round if that's okay. Yeah. I, I just want to say far too often people get down on themselves when we talk about this because mm -hmm. I, th they say, I don't know what my purpose is. You guys are telling me that I have to get this. Life is a journey. It's not a destination. All of the other nice little quips that we like to, to talk about, that's fine. The reason things are principles around here and not steps or a process is because, yes, clarity is important. Uh, yes, purpose is important, but that might be a progressive thing for you. So I just want to I just want to try to speak into those of you that are going great. Here's another podcast that's like, figure out what your purpose is before you do anything else. Not so. Not so. It's important. But just let it be a progressive thing. Don't get so wrapped around the axle about that that you forget about efficiencies and forget about taking control and forget about all of that. It's, trust me, trust me. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to the Better Wealth Podcast. It would mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe, leave a review, and share this with the people that you know and love.